about the habitat and what we've just seen up there, and then look at the habitat and what you're going to see down here, and the simple difference a fence can make. It's not a ditch, this is a stream. And believe it or not, you will probably find that this is more biodiverse than the, the main river that we, or main stream we've been looking at. And for us, these, these are the arteries that are, or the lungs of the river. If you can keep these clean, you'll keep the main river clean. Things like septic tanks, soakaways, that kind of thing. When they overflow, this is where they're going to end up. Uh, everybody got a septic tank. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you sort of have any maintenance program ever in a tier to <laughs> I, think, I think people think they can just leave them, you know, 30 years, 40 years and they'll be alright, but uh, they, they quite often cause problems. Uh... If you haven't got that programme in place, it's likely that it will leak. Mm. It's likely that it will overflow. Just to reinforce what Jack was saying about the importance of these, uh, the, the houses up there, when they were building those, I can't remember how long ago, 15, 20 years ago, uh, one of the tanks, the central leaking tanks, uh, was leaking and this was full of diesel. And I was just astonished to see the, the wildlife that was dead in this brook. It was full of freshwater shrimp. Yeah. Absolutely mm. full of them. Uh, little gudgeon. Yeah. All the way up. Absolutely mm. full of, of, uh, of life. Insect life. All the, all the little sort of larvae and whatever. So it, it's remembering these little things that is absolutely critical to what, what we're going to try and achieve. fish struggle to get up. Sometimes with the complete barriers they can't get over them at all. Sometimes fish can get over them in the right flows. So we know that salmon and sea trout can get over this weir, but our evidence suggests that not very easily, not in the right flows at the right time. So for us we need to improve that. What weirs do is they impound gravel. So Thinking about the river in another way is it's a conveyor belt of gravel and sediment and substrate. You put a weir in and you stop that conveyor belt. There are a lot of issues related to weirs, but the other one that's quite obvious is that if this weir wasn't here, the water level would be a lot lower. If the water level was a lot lower, there would be a much lower flood risk to these houses near the street. rivers have a sequence of pools and riffles and actually in a, in a pure virgin river stream they are so regimented in how often they should occur it's incredible and so there is something wrong with the characteristics of this stream and it's probably that those hard revenants we were looking up in the village in yeah. fact beyond that it's probably to do with the weir because of the way it's starving gravel the reason that trees are important as you can see here classically this water runs down it hits that tree it scours the riverbed creates a deep pool then what do you get? If you look down there, a pile of gravel. And a pile of gravel then becomes a riffle. It's not quite perfect for otters, but that's the kind of thing otters are looking for. Also the invertebrates that you'll get living in that dead wood that's gathering there. And the fact that you've got this big deep water with something that fish can hide in. As simple things like keeping litter out of rivers is actually really, really important.